Everyone knows Jay-Z likes watches and takes them seriously, even more than sports. The New York rapper has used his lyrics to introduce us to brands like Hublot and Richard Mille. He has used significant occasions as opportunities to unveil his newest acquisitions. Watches have always been a part of J Styles Ease from the early 2000s when he wore the now iconic Jacob & Co five time zone watch to the present day when he wears handcrafted one-of-a-kind pieces from names like Richard Mill and Rolex. Jay-Z indeed loves luxury and so do we, so we'd like to review his unbelievable and highly coveted watch collection. Jay-Z is known for his impeccable taste in fashion and his love for luxury watches is no exception. He has been spotted wearing some of the most iconic timepieces from top luxury brands and his collection is said to be worth millions of dollars. Let's start with the cheapest one. The Rolex Daytona 116505. Jay-Z wore a $70,000 rose gold Rolex Daytona with a chocolate dial to the Sean Carter Foundation Gala in 2019. Even the pickiest watch collectors will be impressed by the Rolex Daytona 116505. This watch has a beautiful chocolate coloured dial and is crafted of 18 karat ever rose gold, a rare alloy of gold, copper and a touch of platinum. This gives the watch a warm, beautiful, distinctive, ageless tone. The precision chronograph function of the Rolex Daytona 116505 allows you to measure elapsed time with exceptional accuracy. This function is controlled by the pushes on the side of the case and the seconds, minutes and hours can be read on the subdials located at 3, 6 and 9 o'clock. The chronograph function is driven by Rolex's own calibre 4130 movement, which is renowned for its dependability and accuracy. The Rolex Daytona 116505 is a highly functional watch and a stunning piece of jewellery. The 40mm casing is comfortable on most wrists and is made of solid Everose gold. Its matte surface looks excellent with the chocolate coloured dial. The hands and hour markers on the dial are gold and coated with illuminating material for visibility in low light. The watch is finished with a matching Everose Gold Oyster comfortable and secure bracelet. Next is something much more expensive, the Patek Philippe Grand Master Chime Reference 6300G. Jay-Z wore a Patek Philippe Grand Master Chime Reference 6300G to celebrate Puff Daddy's 50th birthday in 2019. Of course, it was a great party full of great people and great timepieces were seen for us to drool over. The watch isn't very well striking, but it's pricey. Jay-Z wanted everyone to know he wore it, so he posted this photo to prove it. The Grandmaster Chime was created in 2014 to commemorate the company's 175th anniversary. The watch, which has 214 sections, 20 complexities and 1,366 pieces, was developed over eight years. Jay-Z is sporting the updated watch. Yellow gold casings were used to create the original, which is reference 5175. J White Gold Z's version has two black and white dials and is slightly more understated. Moving on to another Patek Philippe in his collection, the Patek Philippe Nautilus 59901R. At yet another party, this time it was Michael Rubin's white party, Jay-Z proved that he brings his A-game regarding watches. Jay-Z and Jay Belvin were spotted at the party on July 4, 2022, and what was Jay-Z wearing? A stunning $400,000 Patek Philippe Nautilus travel time chronograph. The rose gold case and band on this particular model, the Patek Philippe Nautilus 59901R, give it a warm, opulent, stylish and sporty appearance. The dual time zone function of the Nautilus 59901R makes it simple to keep track of time in two distinct time zones. The local time is shown on the main dial, while the second time zone is represented by a second hour hand on a sub-dial at 12 o'clock. The date is also shown on the main dial immediately above the 6 o'clock position. The Nautilus 59901R is driven by Patek Philippe's in-house calibre CH28520CFUS movement, renowned for its accuracy and dependability. 
you can see the complex workings of the watch's movement through the sapphire crystal case back. The Nautilus 59901R is a magnificent work of art in terms of design. We love it. The unique porthole-inspired case is instantly identifiable and gives the watch a distinct sporty appearance. Thanks to the satin brushed and polished rose gold case and band, the watch has a subtle, understated beauty. Next is his custom-made Richard Mill 56 Custom Blueprint. Jay-Z wore a Richard Mill watch that took 3,000 hours to construct for the NAACP Image Awards in 2019. According to celebrity jeweler Alex Todd, the watch was cut and milled from solid chunks of sapphire and is the most costly Richard Mill watch ever manufactured, costing about $2.5 million. It is named The Blueprint after his sixth album. It has also been said that years of research and testing were required to mold the brilliant blue sapphires into this shape to ensure the watch's durability and comfort. Since then, Jay-Z has worn it many times, even at his B-Sides 2 event at Webster Hall in April 2019. Now for the priciest of the priciest, his Hublot Big Bang. In December 2012, Beyonce gave Jay-Z a gift that most of us would never get the chance to receive, a Hublot Big Bang worth $5 million. The watch was fashioned of 18 karat white gold and had 1,282 diamonds. Hublot claimed that the watch was one of the brand's most expensive timepieces when it was introduced in 2012. The watch case is 18 karat white gold and includes 302 baguette diamonds. The watch dial was similarly made of 18 karat white gold and studded with 179 baguette diamonds. Indeed, there are 782 baguette diamonds in the 18 karat white gold bracelet. This Jay-Z timepiece is currently the priciest in his collection. But that's not all. He owns the stunning Audemars Piguet Royal Oak All Black Ceramic Open Work. The rapper was seen wearing the all-black ceramic openwork Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Perpetual Calendar 26585CE during DJ Khaled's 2022 Walk of Fame ceremony. The Royal Oak Perpetual Calendar is an amazing piece of engineering. The dial's stunning open-worked sapphire and the movement's exposed pink gold parts are dressed in black ceramic. This stunning piece can be had for between $500,000 and $800,000 on the secondary market. What's more to see here? His collection also contains the Jacob & Co. 5 time zone. Fun fact! Before Jay-Z became one of the most well-known watch collectors in hip-hop, he was one of the most promising up-and-coming musicians to come out of New York. His rise in the rap scene coincided with that of another New Yorker named Jacob, who became famous as Jacob the Jeweler. Jay-Z commonly wore a five-time zone on his wrist early in his career. The design eventually became Jacob & Co's signature product after its introduction in 2002. As the name suggests, this watch displays the time in five different time zones, making it an ideal choice for frequent travelers or those who need to keep track of multiple time zones. One of the standout features of the Jacob & Co five-time zone watch is its distinctive design. The watch features a round case in various materials, including stainless steel, gold, and titanium. The dial is divided into five sections, each displaying the time in a different time zone. The hour markers and hands are typically bold and colorful, making them easy to read. But there's a downside with this one. While the five time zone watch is certainly a unique and eye-catching timepiece, it is important to note that it may not be suitable for everyone. The watch's large size and bold design may not appeal to those who prefer more classic or understated styles. Additionally, the complexity of the dial may make it difficult for some users to read the time quickly and accurately. Next in his collection is the much-coveted Richard Mill RM001. Jay-Z's fans know the Richard Mill RM001 is among his most prized possessions. He was one of the first celebrities to wear a Richard Mill RM001 Tourbillon, which was introduced alongside 16 other watches then. The initial run of this limited edition timepiece cost $135,000 each and was limited to only 80 pieces. Jay, a watch collector, jumped on this opportunity with both feet. 
He wore this renowned Richard Mill watch at photo sessions for hip-hop magazines like XXL and events like the 2002 Soul Train Music Awards. Richard Mill isn't the oldest watchmaker in the world, but it is among the most sought. The high-end watchmaker is renowned for its lightweight designs and small production runs. Due to its low production volume, the RM001 now sells for over twice its original price. Now for the timepiece we could not leave out of this list, the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak. Folks, we've already established and you have seen that Jay-Z is such a well-known watch collector that high-end brands have made watches in his honor. His 2005 partnership with Audemars Piguet was arguably one of the most significant. Do you want to know how it came to be? Jay-Z collaborated with the Swiss watchmaker to create a unique edition line of Royal Oak Offshore watches to mark his 10th year in the music business. Sean Carter's Royal Oak Offshore watches had a diamond-studded hourglass to commemorate the occasion. Only 100 of the watches, which had a diameter of 44 millimeters, were made available to the public. Only 50 pieces in steel, three pieces in 18 karat rose gold, and 20 pieces in platinum were available. Jay-Z also signed the case back of each watch. The retail price of the steel model was 23,500, while the price of the ultra-limited platinum model was a stunning $69,500. Each watch was packeted in a limited edition collector's box containing a 40 gigabyte iPod classic with J entire Z's career already installed. The iPod was engraved with his signature and a quote, I'm so far ahead of my time, I'm about to start another life. Look behind you, I'm about to pass you twice. A bar from the Blueprint 2, the gift and the curse single, Hovey Baby. The partnership took two years to bear fruit. According to WWD, it brought in $4 million and Jay-Z established the Sean Carter Scholarship Foundation in 2002 to help deserving college students with financial aid. These timepieces are now exceedingly rare on the secondary market. In 2016, Christie's auctioned off a steel model for $30,000. Out of control? That's definitely true of Jay-Z's collection, considering we couldn't review his entire collection in one go.